Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is your girl Ace Once here again. So as you can see from the title, we are going to talk about the Kiwi A Plus Pari Cream, okay? This is what they call the Active Harmony and um, you know, they've got some French something on it that I don't, you know, I can't read, okay? It says Lightning Body Lotion with Carrot Extract, okay? So I am sure you know this cream it's also famous on youtube on the internet and you see many people talking about it especially with women of color now before i even start this video let me say i am not here to destroy anybody's business i am just here for the truth and nothing but the truth now you agree with me that as consumers you have the right to know whatever you put on your body whatever you put in your system you have the right to know and i mean you paid with money you bought it with money Okay, your hard-earned money. So you have every right to know what it contains and what you are putting on your body. I must say, I bought this Kiwi A Plus in, um, that was before the corona craze, okay? So I would say in, um, was it December or January? Between December and January, but whatever, it was before the corona virus something. I bought this to try because I've been seeing it around. People talk about it every time. And um, I must say, when I bought this, when I received this, I bought it online from their shop um, that is in Paris, okay? And um, I had to pay, I think I, I did pay like 15 euros or something for shipping. So it came in and my first impression was, no, this contains hydroquinone. Because I opened it. And I stayed there, I was like, uh, like the smell. Think back some years ago, um, I had this friend who used um, these uh, French creams, you know, the Beauclair, the, you know, Claire Claire something. And um, it did smell really bad. It smells like garlic. So I was asking, I was like, why is it that these, um, mostly these French creams smell like this? I mean, it's not a nice smell. And I was told because it contains hydroquinone, like this is how hydroquinone smells. It smells like, you know, garlic and i mean it's not the best of smell so i had that you know smell in my head it's been so many years ago but as soon as i opened this lotion those memories came back and i was like no this is the smell this is the hydroquinone smell that i do not like so the first thing i did was um i sent an email to the shop and i did ask oh that's this contain hydroquinone because it smells like it contains hydroquinone and they responded no 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 it doesn't contain hydroquinone i can promise you it doesn't contain hydroquinone and i must say i was a little bit skeptical because if somebody gets so defensive you know you are gonna think twice i mean if it doesn't contain hydroquinone you just be like oh no it doesn't contain hydroquinone we use natural plant extras and we use blah 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 there's the active ingredients is a culture acid is a alpha albertin whatever but the person was so defensive saying i promise i can assure you blah 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 then you know i was having second thoughts so in the evening i just wanted to try the cream so i just put a little bit like I've not used it. You see, this this is no lotion. Like, it's as hard as something. I don't even want to use it. I don't even want to touch it anymore. And it smells so strong. So I put it on my hands to see how it absorbs, how is it like. And I realized that it dries out the skin very much. Because if you put it on your hands and you rub, you realize that it's so thick. It kind of, you know, dry out your skin. So in the evening, like... I just put this on my skin just a little bit on my hands not my whole body on my hands and my sister was like oh like what's that smell it smells like chemicals it smells like you know the pharmacy shop it smells like garlic and i was like yeah i thought you know this doesn't smell good too and i'm seriously thinking it contains hydroquinone my little girls looked at me and was like oh like you know that face and i was like oh my god like this stinks it doesn't smell good so i went on the internet and typed in uh, qea plus in europe okay and i got this and i got the shock even though i had my suspicions i didn't have any proof as you can see it says a recall of cosmetic cream qea plus pari and it says um let me just skip to where 
This week, an alert on cosmetic creams has started from the EU alert system between the states of uh, the European Union on the safety of product. The alert system for non-food dangerous Okay, there has been an alert for non-food dangerous products. Okay, non-edible dangerous products. The report states that hydroquinone was found in the cosmetic lightning cream on the national territory, in particular in cosmetic shops, but also at supermarkets and via the internet, on foreign sites and online stores such as eBay, Amazon, Walmart and um, other online shops, which contains the lightning products for the skin with hydroquinone. The product is described as a lightning beauty cream for the skin. The authorities have ordered their withdrawal from the market. Okay. Now it says hydroquinone. In fact, in Italy, the marketing and import of product that contains hydroquinone, a substance known to be harmful due to its carcinogenic risk, which means it's, um, it causes cancer, is prohibited in the European Union. It's been banned since 2000 in the European Union due to the strong irritant effect found and due to the excessive long-term tox toxins. To date, the substance is still sold freely in America and on the internet, representing a danger for many who wish to solve the problem of their skin. Like those with spots on, even skin and uh, suntan, you know. In fact, this product causes a sudden disappearance of the stain of the of imperfections. Although in the long run, it in it introduces carcinogens and the development of skin melanoma. Okay, so this is one site, and um, the this tube was also found. This is the Kiwi A Plus Active Performance Multi Action. This is a tube, as you can see, and it says it's also being withdrawn from the market because it's been found with hydroquinone, or so you cannot find it anymore in the, on the Italian market. So this is it. I got this from the internet, and I was like, okay, so my suspicions are true because this did smell like hydroquinone, but they lied to me. The person replied and said, "No, no, no, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't go to her room, blah, blah, blah." If you go to your if you go to your Facebook um, page, you are going to see a video of a lady, you know, teaching you how to use the cream, how to use the lotion, how to use the soap, blah, blah, blah. And if you look at this lady, you're going to realize that her skin tone looks kind of um, ashy. It looks kind of a little bit burnt. I don't think she's a model. I think she works at the shop or she's the owner of the shop or something i think she's an employee there at the shop and she just you know did a demonstration i'm going to insert the video if i find it and you are going to see for yourself nice you are going to realize that her knuckles are bent her face looks a little bit burnt and she has those you know burnt signs on her you know cheekbones and this is a typical example of what hydroquinone does to the skin after long term use it's going to give you that grayish ashy you know kind of burns like color and it's going to give you the dark knuckles the dark elbows and the you know the burnt cheekbones especially if you live in the tropical regions now i was wondering why you know um since hydroquinone is banned in the whole of e the in the whole of europe i mean the eu why are they selling how, how 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 do they sell how are they selling this in Paris and um, I realize that sometimes if you make the products you are gonna give a sample for test and if they test it and it doesn't contain you know anything they are going to give you the you know the right to sell on the market and also sometimes I think um, you are going to you know sign a decree you are going to sign a contract that I promise or I um, swear that this my product does not contain any harmful ingredients or any prohibited ingredients in the European Union and you are going to sign that so if they are going to give just a sample for test I mean they're going to take out the they're going to give a sample with the hydroquinone and if they're tested it's going to come out you know they're going to get the go ahead you're going to get the check mark go ahead to sell and maybe they're going to put the hydrogen on the ones they are going to sell on the market because yeah hydrogen on that's lighten but the problem is that at the end of the day 
you are going to suffer more. At the end of the day, it's going to burn you. At the end of the day, it's going to get, it's going to reduce the elasticity on your skin and it's going to end up giving you stretch marks and other problems that you don't even want to deal with. I mean, we are spending money. We deserve, we have the right to know whatever you put in that product. If I don't want it, I mean, I wouldn't buy it. There are people who don't mind using hydroquinone. If they want to use it, they can go ahead and use it. But you cannot, you know, deceive the public just to make some money. It is not fair at all. If, if you're somebody who's been using Kiwi A Plus products, just be careful because this is very like this is very dangerous this hydroquinone stuff is very very dangerous for the skin and at the end of the day it's going to give you a terrible skin color it stinks it doesn't smell good you know who wants to smell like garlic walking about so that is it you have to be very careful when buying your product you have to you know stick to the organic products you know stick to the organic creams the organic skin products i mean they cost a little bit more but it's it's worth it it's not going to hurt you it's not going to put your life at risk it's not going to destroy your skin even though the results are not like you know magic results you know three days or a week results it is worth it it is worth the money it is worth the long wait because at the end of the day it's not going to destroy your skin it's not going to give you those stretch marks so this is it this is the cream i bought i didn't even use it and i thank god i didn't even use it because the smell was terrible it's not something i would like to have on my skin now the problem with this is that you know even in the u.s where hydroquinone is not prohibited. I think they have a limit that you can buy. And when they use hydroquinone to treat dark spots and um, hyperpigmentation and those other stuff, they write that you have to put it on the affected area and you have to discontinue use after it has been treated. After you've treated your dark spots or whatever discoloration is on your skin, you have to discontinue using this. The problem with this is that they don't tell us it contains hydroquinone, which it does. And they go ahead to tell you, use it twice a day. They don't tell you to discontinue use. So this is a cream that people are going to use like their daily moisturizer, their daily cream, and they are going to use it for years and years and years. And that is where the problem lies. That is when it's going to have a long-term effect on your skin and on your health in general. So, so, so I don't want this video to be too, too long, but I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy your markets or your business but the truth has to be told people have the right to know what they buy people have the right to know what they use their money on so if you use kiwi a plus stuff i mean just be careful i know they are very famous on the market there they have a new product that they call the Pat patricia or something something and um in fact i'm very very disappointed in kiwi a i mean the company i'm very very disappointed because like you cannot deceive the public like that okay guys so this is it let me know do you have an experience with it do you use it don't you use it just let me know in the comment section and if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with family and friends until next time i'm gonna see you again with another nice and interesting one bye bye